Hey guys, it is Cal, and for today's video, I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing another sick DIY video, except this one is for fall and winter season. So to show you guys what we're gonna be making today, I have a normal pair of high-waisted black denim jeans. I couldn't find any of these at Goodwill. I went to a few different locations. There might be a black pair of high-waisted jeans near you. So otherwise, just use a pair that you already have, and we are going to be cutting out holes all up and down the legs like this, and you're gonna be able to wear sick, fishnet tights with them or just your normal legs but yeah we're gonna be doing something like this I'm so excited and then I'm also going to be distressing these a bit more and ripping these up and we're gonna be putting flannel underneath them I got some of this flannel fabric at Joann's, Joann's fabric so that will look really sick and then I'm gonna show you guys how to distress a denim chambre I got this at Goodwill I found one for seven dollars so lucky in the men's section just find whatever size fits you best for your body type. But I decided to get a size large just because I like them kind of baggy on my body type. And we're going to be distressing it like this. I got this at the LF sale. It's first of a kind brand and I spent way too much money on it. And I want to show you guys that you can make this denim distress just like this. No problem. And then I also went to the men's section at Goodwill and I got the largest pair of denim jeans that I could find. <sighs> we're going to be making a denim tube top out of this it's gonna look so sick but without further ado here we go so some of these steps might be self-explanatory but we are going to be doing a voiceover anyway also I'm so sorry for the amount of times I just said sick in the intro here we go so I'm first taking my amazing pair of high-waisted black jeans I love these can't wait to cut them up I got these on Princess Paul. I couldn't find any at Goodwill, so if you can't find any at Goodwill, just use some or find some cheap ones online. All you're gonna need, index card and scissors, and a Sharpie. If your pants are black, you could use chalk, but when I flip mine inside out, a Sharpie works better. I'm basically just cutting out a square or rectangle shape from the index card and tracing it all up and down my legs in hopes that it will look how I want it to look. As you guys can see, I'm just simply tracing all over my legs. I did flip the jeans inside out if you cannot tell, but I do try them on before I cut out each and every square just because you might want to add some more to the top like I did. There was awkward spacing and there needed to be more on my upper thighs. But after that, you are just going to get your scissors and cut out each and every square on your legs and you guys will see what they look like in a sec. And once you guys are done cutting them out, you can throw them in the wash. Before I tried them on, I obviously did not throw them in the wash. But if you want more of a frayed look, throw them in the wash. But I decided to pair black fishnets underneath them. These are just from Forever 21. Super simple. I love the way these look with fishnets. You could also wear some cool nude fishnets underneath them. Otherwise, they look just as great with just your normal legs under them. But yeah, I'm really happy with how these turned out. And I bet they would look even better if you had a really long oversized sweatshirt or something. To make a tube top out of men's jeans, you're gonna need scissors, leather or suede string, some large silver eyelets. I just got these at Joann Fabrics and a hammer to hammer those eyelets into the denim. And to start off, you're gonna wanna measure your bust and waist size in order to determine the top of the tube top and the bottom of the tube top. Once you get that down, you're gonna take whatever your bust size is and run it down the leg to determine how much you need to cut off of the actual jeans. I decided to cut the seam allowance off on both sides of the jeans, the seam that holds the front and back of the pants together, just because for the tube top, I wanted that to determine the top and bottom. Once you cut that out, just hold it up to yourself and whatever folds over, you're gonna wanna cut off. It doesn't have to be perfect, just mark it with some chalk or whatever marker you have near you. I also went back and perfected those lines on the floor. And as you guys can see, this tube top is kinda structured, it's kinda crooked. I made it so that it's higher on one side and lower on the other because I actually like that look. But once you cut that off, you're ready to put some eyelets in in order to lace it up and hold it on your body. I just got these large eyelets at Joann Fabrics for 10 bucks. I'm placing them on the fabric where I think 
They're going to look good. I decided to use four on each side, so I used eight total. And you're going to want to take a Sharpie and draw a black circle in the middle of each silver ring. And that is going to determine exactly where your eyelid is going to be placed. I found that it was easiest to just twist up the fabric and cut the tip off in order to make a perfect little circle for it to fit in. You guys will see once we get to that step. Here is where we grab our hammer. It's going to show you where to put the anvil and everything and how to hammer the metal in with the fabric. So first we just put the anvil below and then put the eyelet right there on top as you guys can see. And then you're just going to be hammering the metal into the other metal. I don't know how to describe this. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, it's super easy. And then once you hammer those all in, it's going to look a little something like this. Then you're just going to grab your string, lace it up however you would like. I decided to do it from top to bottom. And then to make a choker to go with this outfit, you're going to want to just take whatever scrap you have left over from any of the jeans. You should still have another pant leg. And then just hold it up to your neck and measure how you want it. And then just repeat the steps in order to put two eyelets on the end. It looks so good. And then once you hammer those eyelets in, just grab some extra string that you have and tie it up and your outfit is complete. I'm wearing the choker backwards here, but you could also wear it forwards and show the string. And then the tube top ended up looking so sick. I love the back of it. And if you ever aren't comfortable wearing a tube top or you don't feel comfortable in a tube top, you could wear it as a black corset with like a big t-shirt underneath and it looks just as good. Next, we are going to distress this chambray and make it a little bit more appealing. As you guys can see right now, it's just too structured. It just hangs on the body. So to start off with the distressing process, you're just gonna need scissors and tweezers. It's so simple, you only need two things. And to start off, we're just gonna be cutting off the seam allowance on both sides. I don't know if I would call it the seam allowance. Let's just say just cut off up to around the hip of the seam on both sides just to give the chambray more of a flow and it looks way better on the body. It's not as structured. And do the same thing to the bottom seam. Once you do that, just make small little slits all along the bottom because we're gonna be distressing up the entire bottom so that when we wash it or put it in the dryer, it's gonna have a really cool fray to look. Just take your tweezers and fray the entire bottoms. If you just pull on the bottom white threads or blue threads, it will pull apart and it will look something like this, as you guys can see. Now, I'm sure you guys have distressed denim before or made really cool leg rips in it like you've seen on denim jeans so i just made two slits with scissors on the top and bottom and i'm just pulling out the blue threads i just did this all over the entire jacket and to distress it up a little more i'm pretty sure this is not safe at all but i'm just scraping a knife all up and down the denim shirt i felt it was the quickest process in order to distress it more and make holes in it as you guys can see, I did a lot to the back and across that back seam, and it ended up looking so good. And then we can see the hip cutouts. I ended up loving how this looked, and this is after the washer and dryer. Okay, to make some flannel patch jeans, you're gonna need scissors, flannel, I bought one yard at Joanne Fabrics, sewing needles and needing needle holders, some thread and some denim jeans to distress. So I'm gonna do that same thing that I did before, is pulling out the blue threads and making holes all over the jeans. I didn't do this on camera just because I thought you guys probably would get the idea or you can make someone else, you can watch someone else's really simple video on it. But this is exactly how I distressed the jeans. I made some big holes on the bottoms and around the knees. Then I'm just grabbing my flannel and I'm just gonna be cutting out a simple square of however big I think will be perfect to sew on my jeans. And then as you guys can see, I'm just placing it where I think I should, cutting off the extra fabric, and this is gonna be covering the big knee rip. 
Then I'm just placing some needles in to hold the fabric there because I will be hand sewing. I took a costume construction class when I was at Uni University of Arizona, so I do know how to sew, and I'm just gonna be doing a simple backstitch. If any of you guys are wondering how to backstitch, you can go on to YouTube and type in how to backstitch, and there will be a really simple video. But to show you guys the process of how to patch up your jeans, you're just gonna wanna measure out a simple square, pin that down with some extra needles just so it's not moving around when you are hand sewing it on there. And then you're just gonna take whatever thread. I decided to use black because it will show a little bit and it also won't. We're gonna be doubling up on the thread and I'm gonna be making this pretty long because I don't wanna have to reuse some more. I'm just tying some on the end of my finger, twisting it and making a simple knot, as you guys can see. And then since this is a back stitch, I'm gonna be starting underneath the fabric and then I'm just weaving my way through so I don't have to go up and down through the jeans. And it's as simple as that. I know it takes a while, but it looks so good after you do it. This is what the finished product looks like. I did some up on the hips, some on my knees, and lower down by my ankles. I also did like a little booty rip with some flannel back there as well. But I hope you guys loved this DIY. I'm so excited to wear these flannel jeans. I liked it better when I covered the top part of my jeans than when I showed the actual hips and stuff just because I feel like I had a better pair of jeans to do this with, but I didn't want to have to go out and buy a pair. Thank you guys so much for taking time to watch this video. I had so much fun making all of these looks. Everything turned out so good. If any of you guys try and recreate these looks, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter. My handle is at Kelly Kaiser for both social medias. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like and give this video a thumbs up. But I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Bye.